In vitro fertilization is a process in which female eggs and male sperms are fertilized in a laboratory and fertilized egg is implanted in female uterus. Couples require IV if, if any of them has fertility issues such as females, with over 40 years of age has very low chances of fertility. Besides, females whose fallopian tubes are blocked or they have problems in ovaries, they can also be an IVF candidate. While those males can get help from IVF that have low sperm count or sperm motility issue. Let's see mechanism of normal fertilization before understanding IVF. Every month, one egg is released from female ovaries via an ovulation process. This egg enters into the fallopian tubes after releasing from ovary. If this female has mating with her male partner during this process, the sperms release from males into the female vagina. These sperms are motile and they travel from vagina to cervix and cervix to uterus. Few sperms swim and enter into the fallopian tubes and after reaching an egg, one sperm enters the egg. This process is called fertilization. Now this fertilized egg travels from fallopian tubes into the uterus and attached to the endometrium lining where it starts growing. Now because we have already discussed that natural fertilization is disturbed in some couples due to certain reasons, these couples take help from IVF. Let's see how IVF process is performed. The process of IVF is performed in five steps. Step number one, stimulation. Usually female release only one egg in a month, while IVF requires multiple eggs for which fertility drugs are prescribed to females. Due to this, multiple eggs mature simultaneously. Multiple eggs are used to increase chances of viable embryo development. Step number two, egg retrieval. In this step, multiple mature eggs are extracted through a surgical process. In this surgery, doctors extract multiple mature eggs from female ovaries using an ultrasound and suction machine. Step number three, insemination. In this step, semen sample is collected from a male. Then egg and sperm are mixed in a test tube or Petri dish. In this way, the process of fertilization is completed within few hours means sperm enters in a female egg. Besides, sperm can also be injected into the female egg through a needle. Step number four, embryo culture after fertilization. Doctor examines fertilized eggs and select those with normal division. After three, four days, these eggs grow and convert into an embryo. Step number five, transfer of embryo. Transfer of embryo, now a healthy embryo is picked from a culture medium and inserted into the uterus using a thin catheter because chances of embryo implantation are very less in IVF. Two, three embryos are simultaneously inserted into the uterus to increase the chances of pregnancy. That is why chances of twin are more in EF. After 10, 12 days of embryo transfer, pregnancy is confirmed through blood test. Hope so. You learned something new in this video. Thanks for watching.